Did you not hear me the first time? I'm done staling with you, Phil. Why would I want to stale with you when I can when I can be with my beautiful wife and be under the command of Big Mom, one of the Yoko? Why would I want to continue to stay as a stale with a kind of idiot on a teeny ship in the middle of the new world that are surely going to die thanks to their own stupidity very soon? I mean, the only reason I didn't tell you my last name was when you made it develop an inferiority complex, then you would know how amazing I, Vince Smoke on GM. Just go away. You're the least idiot in the world, and if you do not leave this place, I'm going to be forced to kill you. Straw hat, Luffy. Why are you doing this, Sanji? If we team up, I'm sure we can defeat these Vince Smoke, these Vince Smoke guys and Big Mom. What the hell are you doing? Aren't we friends? Just, just don't do it. I don't buy any of this crap. Just, ugh. And I'm sure, even if we can't beat them, we can't escape them. We're, but we're all super strong. I mean, I just took out, I took out that cracker guy. Just come on. Why are you doing this? I don't want to fuck you, Sandy. But, ugh. You're not leaving me any other choice. So in the latest chapter of One Piece, it was pretty much confirmed that Luffy and Sanji will fight in the Great One Piece chapter. Now the question today is, who's going to win that fight? Will it be Mugiano Luffy or Kurige? I believe that's the, the Japanese pronunciation of Sanji's moniker. I could have just butchered the hell out of it. But I don't care. Let's move on to discussion. To the discussion. So the first thing we need to talk about this week for this big event is how tired Luffy is. Let's go over the things that Luffy had done. Since arriving on Whole Cake Island, Luffy had fought one of the squeaked commanders for 11 hours, used Gear Force two times, and eating all the Cracker Biscuit Warriors straight for 11 hours, making him the fullest we have ever seen him. And Luffy eats a lot of food, so we have seen him pretty damn full. I mean, we have seen him, like, stomach and bend into, like, more than this. No, but not in this situation. Like, that would we that would tremendous amount of food he was eating. So, Luffy had used Gear Force twice, and you have to remember, Luffy has had not had much time to recover since his fight with Cracker. All that really happened was Luffy deflated, like he let all the food come out and he shrunk back down. Nami even acknowledged how quickly it was happening. He was like, he's drinking already, and he's still drinking. Like, she was freaking out about it, and the more I think about it, the more amazing I think this is for us to know and how more important I think it is. Because Luffy had not had much time to fight with Cracker was greatly injured him. He barely beat Cracker. Oda did skip most of the fight because it was probably just Luffy eating crackers or biscuits, but still. His fight with Cracker tired him out. He's been running around. He almost died of poison earlier today. You know, I have to remember, you're all thinking of like the Mustang Day. Luffy almost died like two or three times to derive the whole King Island. He almost died of poison. He fought a clone of himself. He used gear for it. Like, this guy's tired. Meanwhile, Sanji. Sanji's had a couple of scuffles with like the Vince with some of his brothers. But most of the time, Sanji's been like sitting on his ass, like just leaning against walls, just being generally kind of pissed off that he's there. Like, I think what I think you're actually lying where Sanji's like, where somebody's like, why do you look so pissed off, Sanji? Like, because I hate all of you. Like, I don't even acknowledge you in my family. And Rage is like, okay, Sanji. And then they're all, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of conversation somewhat, somewhat along those lines. He either has, he has, a, he has a fight with his dad, but he hasn't really get injured in that, and his injuries are already healed. So I'm, I'm looking at this, and I'm kind of like, I don't see a situation. I feel like Sanji is in much better condition than Luffy. 
I mean, there is no indication that he's more injured than Luffy. So, my belief is that because Donji is in better shape, and he's probably going to beat Luffy. I think Luffy's going to lose at least the one-on-one -on -one part of the fight. I'll get to how I think the fight will go later. But what I want to talk about right now is Luffy versus Donji in general. Now, what I think a lot of people seem to forget is that Donji is not much weaker than Luffy. He is. Donji is on that level with Luffy. Donji was able to hit Diablo Jumbo. Oh, oh, okay, we're good? We're good. Okay. No, but Donji was able to, with his Diablo Jumbo, slow down Don Quixote Go Flamingo. So he wasn't able to beat him, and when Joe Flamingo got serious, he pretty much one shot at Donji, but, this is a, but you have to realize this is a weakened Luffy. This is a Luffy that would lose to Go Flamingo. And you put this Luffy in a one-on-one -on -one fight with Doflamingo, I think. Maybe he would do slightly better. But honestly, I do think Donny, I do think Donny would, would do better than Luffy in that fight. This is a very injured Luffy. Very tired, injured. He's had a pretty rough day. Kind of like Luffy and Marine Ford. When he arrived, he was not at full power. Like he had fought through a ton of people in the same situation. Luffy gone through a lot of crap to get here. He gone through a lot of stuff to get here. And I do feel he is weaker than Zanji at the moment. At least, his, the amount of power he had now is lower than the amount of power Zanji had. I want to say right off the bat, right now, that if Luffy and Zanji fought at 100%, Luffy wins. No debate. Luffy risked Zanji to pieces. That's not even a debate. One King Kong gun and Zanji is done. Donji had stuck blow endurance and stamina. He would die. That's a joke. Luffy versus Donji normally, the power gap isn't that big, but it is still laughable. Like, it's not like it's big enough that, like, Luffy could like, actually one shot him. I'm exaggerating a bit. But the point, though, is if Luffy and Donji fall full power, Luffy wins. No debating it. But Luffy's injured and tired, as I've been saying. And I myself personally feel that him losing to Sanji is a very big possibility. Unless, to the next part, unless Nami gets involved. That is right. I feel like Luffy is going to use Nami like he did Buggy as a human shield. He's gonna grab her and he's gonna use her as like a human shield. He's gonna realize he's too weak at the moment to beat Sanji in a one-on-one -on -one fight of raw power. He's too drained from using Gear Ford. The poison, the near death, the near death, the cyber cracker, he's too tired. So he's gonna grab Cracker, and he, not Cracker, he's gonna grab Nami, and use her as human shield. Because even though Sanji wants to make a statement here, I do not think he had the balls to hit a woman. I'm sorry, I, I don't. I don't think Sanji can do it. The best way to say it. I mean, maybe, but then again, I would never expect Sanji. To speak to Luffy the way he did in the last chapter. I would never insulted the entire crew. He insulted the crew. Me, that includes Nami and Robin. He insulted him. He, he said it with a bunch of idiots. He didn't... And you can tell he's implying Nami and Robin too. He's like, you're all dumbasses. Like, normally he has, like, insults like... Laura, like, Laura, like, Laura, Luffy, Usopp. He, but no, this is like... Nami, Rob, and Usopp, all of them. He's like, you're all idiots. And you're all going, going to die. You're weak, you're pathetic, you're inferior. I'm better than you. Like, I never expected that from Nami. So maybe he will kick Nami. Maybe he will kick her ass if she gets in the way of his hip side with Luffy. I don't know. But I'm very excited to see where this goes. How do you think the fight's going to play out? Do you guys think Luffy going to have to have Nami help him beat Sanji? Provide some kind of distraction or the set or the defense mechanism against Sanji's kick? How, or or do you think Luffy is just brought so much stronger than Sanji that even in his weakened state after the kind of day he has had, he can still beat Sanji? I don't think he can. I think in a one-on-one -on -one fight right now, Luffy loses. Okay, that's my opinion though. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Luffy's gonna win? Do you think he's gonna lose? Where do you think he's going to go? And should I do a video on what would happen if Zoro was here? Tell me in the comments. If you do, I will get it done 
I'll get it done tomorrow. If you want it done, I will record the video tomorrow. As soon as I get home from school, I'll get that done for you guys. So yeah, if you guys want that video, tell me and I will do it. Tell me your thoughts on this in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos. The One Piece Nation, signing out.